Let's just talk just for a moment about inflation-induced debt destruction again, because with an offer like our 100% financing offer, that you can only do five homes on this, and the lender is overwhelmed, but get in touch with us through jasonhartman.com if you're interested in this product. It is a very unique, very special product, and you have to qualify for it. I mean, you got to jump through all the hoops, folks. This is not some easy loan to get. It is a fully underwritten loan product, but it is unique because think about it. If you're putting 20% down normally, and you've got to pay a little bit of a premium. Our last borrower that did this was only really paying about three quarters of a point premium, still cheaper than what's called a DSCR loan, debt service coverage ratio loan. They were paying about a three quarter of a point premium for the privilege of getting an extra 20% inflation induced debt destruction. And with bank bailouts and uh, government budget problems, the specter of inflation, even much greater than we've seen already, looms really, really large. So uh, don't be fooled. I mean, people, the investors that take advantage of this are going to win the game, as they always have. And just a comment about some of these naysayers out there, you know, it seems like every time I, I do an interview on YouTube, I get trolled by these idiots, these absolute idiots who are just jealous people who missed out on the housing boom. They were the same people telling me in 2012, 11 years ago, they were telling me, oh, the market's going to crash. You know, we're just coming out of this terrible recessionary time and things have come back. And how far can it go? It's going to crash. There's going to be a real estate crash. That's 2012. I was hearing that. Okay. And by the way, I was predicting the real estate crash in 2005 that happened just a couple years later, whether you think it's 2007 or, or 2008. I really saw that by spring of 2006, the real estate market had crashed. And I was predicting that. Just, all you need to do is go back and listen to my old episodes. You can hear exactly what I was saying at that time. Okay. I predicted that because I knew all of these adjustable rate loans with these low teaser rates would start adjusting. And I knew there was a mortgage meltdown on the horizon. I got into vociferous arguments, especially with realtors who said, no, no, you're wrong. The market is going to continue forever. It's going to go forever. Uh, so I was the pessimist then right? And lately, I've been the optimist because we have this very low inventory. We have 25% of the people in the country with mortgages have mortgages at or below 3%. We have 65% of the country with mortgages at or below 4%. And we have 40, over 40% 40 of the country with no mortgage at all. Where's the distress? The foreclosure rate is half, half of what it normally is. So, it's it's just unbelievable the clickbait and the stuff these people fall for, but they're just jealous that they missed out on the boom, right? You know, they were telling me two years ago, they were telling me five years ago, they were telling me 10, 11 years ago that the market's going to crash. Jason, you're crazy. I look at demographics, I look at housing supply, and that's why I know better. And because you listen to this show, you know better. I'm not saying there won't be little ups and downs in the market. Of course there will. There's ups and downs always in any market. And even if the real estate market doesn't fare as well as we might think, compared to what? What else are you going to do, right? What else is someone going to do with their money? Say they're right and say the real estate market takes a dive and there's some significant depreciation in that market. Well, all that's going to do is put upward pressure on rent because people can't buy or aren't buying. Now, I don't know about, you know, the low inventory and how we're ever going to solve that problem. I mean, look, there are two things that derail my philosophy. Number one, a massive increase in supply of housing or a massive decrease, number two, in demand. So if there's some big sickness that, you know, very scary wipes a bunch of people out and demand declines, that will not be good news, right? That will be terrible. It would be horrific. And it would be terrible for the markets. Or if some new technology comes along, and it's not going to be 3D printing, by the way, we've done many shows on that, but some new disruptive technology comes along that somehow provides a massive amount of new housing supply, that would also derail things. But barring those two things, overall, 
the big trend, the macro trend, is that income property is going to continue being the most historically proven asset class in the entire world. Yes, always little ups and downs in any market, in any asset class, but the big macro trend is pretty optimistic for income property investors that buy prudent properties in the right markets. They, you know, they're not buying stuff in Los Angeles or uh, San Francisco or any of these expensive markets, right? They use the Hartman risk evaluator to protect themselves from downside risk by understanding the LTI ratio. That is the land to improvement ratio and how that benefits the protection of downside risk when it comes to income properties.